Hey guys, Banana Luck here and welcome back to another Watch Your Realms video. This is gonna be kind of a troll video. We're gonna do one night then and we're gonna try to clear it with Dark Power Dominance with just Cerberus as the sole DPS. So before we start off, I want to showcase the gear first because this is important. Aeon is naked, no gear, no nothing, no levels even. And we have Hollow just for Red Regen. And then Cerberus in the same set that you have seen in the videos and then his exclusive relic. Boka is in the Invigoration set. Nothing special with her artifact. Mari as well. And then we have Maul. Maul is in a Mana Spring set just for the lows. We just want him to use his ultimate here. And then uh I'm not gonna showcase the other stuff because these are just support units, but you know. Yeah, they just have invigoration sets if that's what you're asking for. But without further ado, let's get into the run. Cerberus is going to be supported by Aeon. I do have gun, but I want to make this video accessible for people. So I'm going to use uh, Cerberus alone instead. But without further ado, let's get into it. So typically, you want to put Cerberus in the center so that he hits everyone across all three counts. But because of how these units, how hard they hit, especially the AoE ones, you won't keep Cerberus long enough, alive for long enough, before he dies without his ultimate con. So we're gonna do more instead here. And then we're gonna do hollow. And what's gonna happen is that Maul is gonna use his ultimate to push the mobs from this tower to the middle tower. So that uh, we get everything off. And yeah, that's the strategy. And uh, without further ado, let's uh, get on with the run. And uh, I'll pause again if you know, I need to make any commentaries. Push again here for some for starters. And uh, slap Elwin down. And do Maul's ultimate again. I'm gonna slap Leia down next actually. And this should pull us uh, for a bit. I'll wait for this mobs to reach the tower. And we're gonna push them back. There we go. I'm gonna put Laurel down. Gonna start using Cerberus here. And what we're gonna do is wait for some units to die here, which is gonna be just in time for us to use Maul's ultimate to try to push these mobs in here. Now wait for a bit here. And push them in. Yeah, you can see only one guy remains, and it's the AoE mob, so that's great. That means that uh, we're going to have enough uh, HP on the wall to go on. I see these guys start swarming us a bit here, that's fine. And then I'm going to place Cerberus down in a bit. Right about. Let's just pop this to ultimates first. So that we get this. And yep. I'm gonna wait for some units to die Destiny. and push them in. I think the only units standing are gonna be these pesky little AoE mobs. That's fine. At least they are not hard hitting. The only hard hitting uh, unit is going to be the boss. Here. 
So just doing a bit of control here on the AoE mob. I'm gonna push them there slightly as they're gonna help take down uh, Cerberus' help as well. Oh, we deploy him for the last time. to take down the boss, I hope. Because he's not gonna do any heals with his Forsaken Totem. Hey, okay, nice. So that's gear 119 done with Cerberus as the solo damage deal. And uh, let's look at damage charts here just to be sure that that actually happened. That's without power or dominance. And wow, 104 million damage. More comes close at second. Wait, what comes close? More comes very far in second place, but yeah, you can see a uh, gear rate 119 done with just Cerberus with an Aeon lot as well, not even gun. So, in case you guys put Cerberus over this weekend, you don't know what to do, this is how you use it. And I don't even have that great gear on him. Uh, I feel these are gear that is accessible even before you get to, you know. Uh, the other uh, advanced stages anyways. The Cerberus is just using a Night Terror set on the right side, which is farmable from 1 through 18 of 2 8 here at 2, and Annihilating Might, which is pretty accessible as well. And besides that, most of these guys are in support sets. You don't really need them to be honest, they just give you more rage regen if anything, and yeah. I'm uh, just going to showcase Belora's gear as well because uh, this is quite important. So, sitting at about 12k attack in total, and this is with a King Wisdom set as well. So, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Really short video showcasing how we throw around and, you know, uh, use Cerberus to solo 119 without power or dominance and with Aeon as a lot as well, not gun. So, yeah. That's going to be it for the video guys, thanks for tuning in, I hope this was helpful. If it was, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video, and comment down if you know you try to attempt this and let me know whether or not it works out for you because I'm using an Aeon lot this time, not like Gun, which I've previously always done, so yeah. That's it for the video guys, see you in the next one. Goodbye.